Good evening, everyone. This is Waterfall Joe, and welcome to an exciting episode. Today, we are out comet chasing. Now, this is a rare experience, and I'm very excited to be chasing this comet. Um, I actually have my big lens right here, and I'm gonna show you my screen. I actually have the comet in my photo right now. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot. I'm gonna show you how to find this comet and uh, you know, kind of why this is a big deal. So let's dive in. All right, so of course, as I've already said, this is a very special thing. Not a lot of people are gonna get to see this one. I don't actually know how to pronounce it, uh, but it's all over the news right now. And uh, it's only here for a couple more days. It's almost gone. The app I'm using is called Stellarium. And actually, if I aim it up, let's see, if I aim it up right here, it actually says the name of the comet, and there it is right up there. Now, it's about an hour after sunset right now, and that's kind of the best time to see it. I'm filming this video on Tuesday, October 15th at about 7 p.m. here in Connecticut. I think we only have a couple days left before this comet's gone for another 80,000 years. So make sure you get it, make sure you see it. Take a pair of binoculars with you outside if you can. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on my camera screen, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have my screen pulled up here, and I kind of had to wing it on the camera settings. I wasn't really too sure what were the best settings for a comet. I've never shot a comet before, but I'm currently at ISO 2000 F6. Actually, let's see, can I? Okay, F6 is where it's at, and then two seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my timer. I actually have it set to a five second timer because I am using my Tamron 150 to 600. Very big lens, very easy to get motion blur from pressing the shutter. So let's go ahead and see it. And there is our comet behind the, behind the power line. Not the best foreground here, but there is our comet. Uh, I don't want to go too long on the exposure because then I will actually get motion blur from the stars. I'm already starting to get motion blur only at two seconds. So the more you zoom in, the, the shorter your exposure has to be. But you can see the tail on this comet. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it extends all the way. This is a magnificent comet here. From what I've learned, I'm no astronomer, but from what I've been reading, this actually is a very small comet. It's only about two miles in diameter. For instance, or for example, the comet Hale-Bopp from the 90s was a, about 30 miles in diameter. So this one's a little tiny baby comet, but because apparently it has a very high magnitude, AKA it's very bright. Um, it's very bright for a comet of its size from what I've been reading. So this is a really cool moment. But actually, as you can see right here, there it is. Actually, let me zoom in here. It's going to get a little fuzzy. But there is the comet live happening, moving right now. It is moving across the screen as I'm talking. Um, this is a really cool moment to witness. I'm actually in the light polluted town. You know, I'm in Connecticut. Lots of light pollution here. Anyone can see this. It's, you don't have to go out to the middle of nowhere. Of course, it'll be easier to see it out in the middle of nowhere. But even here in the suburban town of, of New North Haven, Connecticut, we're getting great visibility on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another shot. You can see it here. Let me zoom in again. You can actually see it. There it is. And you can actually notice here, it's, if I leave the screen alone for a second, it's flying across the screen. I read that this comet is traveling at 186,000 miles per hour. Uh, it's been heading our direction for thousands of years and it's it's finally making another journey back around the sun visible for us only for a few days coming up i read that if you have a pair of binoculars you'll be able to see it all the way through the end of october and then after that you'll have to wait another eighty thousand years to see it again so this is a very big moment i hope you're able to get out and see it i'm actually i have a 150 to 600 but i've actually haven't even gone all the way zoomed in i i had plenty of luck just shooting even at at 100 millimeters, 150 millimeters. So, yeah, you can see from the start of the video, it's it's traveled quite a bit down. I'm almost have to reposition my camera here in a second because it's it's already moved across the screen so much. Just to give you a frame of reference, you know, this is a, a breathtaking a ball of ice that has been traveling through the universe for who knows how many years, and uh, here we are getting to witness it right here in Connecticut. Oh, yep. Just about to cut off the screen here. Now, I hope if you are out shooting this, you're able to find a good foreground, like a tree or a barn or anything. Uh, unfortunately, I just, have a, I just have a factory over there and some power lines. But um, I really didn't want to miss this moment. I'd rather see it with my own eyes 
get to witness this moment rather than get a nice foreground and potentially miss it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some photos up on the screen for you guys to enjoy. I've actually shot this now twice, last night and tonight. And it's fascinating, last night it was in a completely different part of the sky. It's crazy how in just one day it's, it's totally changed where it's located. And then in a few days from now, it will be gone. So I'm gonna experiment with different shutter speeds, different ISOs. Um, I've never shot a comet until last night. And even then, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. Here we are at, let's see, ISO 3200 at five seconds. And you can see here, actually it looks like it's a little bit blown out on my screen here. You can see it's a lot easier to see the tail of the comet now as we bump up the exposure a little bit here. I really don't want to go past five seconds here because um, I'm already actually starting to get star trails in the photo. I already have stars being blurred out, so I really can't go too long here. But look at that tail. It's, it's absolutely magnificent. It's, it's just a ball of ice, just, and all of the ice is just melting away. It's, it's absolutely spectacular to witness. Let's zoom in again so you guys can see it. Uh, this video wasn't really meant to be uh, photographic information. It was just meant to document a very, very awesome historical moment that, um, you know, I don't know when the next comet's gonna happen. Who knows? You know, or these things really are rare, you know? So let's, let's enjoy this moment. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking here and just let you watch my extremely pixelated screen of the comet as it crosses our sky. So I'm set up at a, a local parking lot because this was the closest spot to my house that did not have trees in the way. I, uh, I live in a little wooded area. So I'm shooting here and I'm getting so many looks from people driving by. They have no idea what I'm doing. They don't, you know, uh, unfortunately your average person has no clue what's happening in the world of astronomy. Um, even last week we had the Northern Lights. That was a spectacle. I was unfortunately unable to shoot it, but I, it was a beautiful moment. Um, no one really knew it was happening unless you happened to know someone who knew or you went outside and were like, oh wow, there it's happening. Oh, you can see the comet just fell off the screen here. So actually, I'm going to take this and watch this. Let's see if I can reposition it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so now I'm taking another exposure. I just recomposed and I zoomed in. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Yeah, there it is. Let it reset the screen here for a second. Yeah, look at that tail, that's spectacular. We're getting the full tail. The comet is breathtaking right now, guys. So we just did another exposure at some different settings here. This one was ISO 3200 F5 or F6 for five seconds. And we're getting that full tail of the Milky Way, or sorry, the Milky Way of the comet. And actually, I think we're even getting what they call an anti-tail. Oh, it looks like I took, did too long. I'm starting to get star trails. It looks like we even got this fascinating thing here called the anti-tail. Let me get, if you see right here, there's like another streak of light this almost looks like the, uh, the anti-tail. Here, let me turn off my, my light here. Maybe you can see this a little bit better. And uh, I read, I, I have to research a little bit more what the anti-tail is, but I believe we got it here, which is really cool. So it looks like five seconds is actually too long. Let's chill it out down to two and a half. Let's see if we don't get any streaking now. Uh, let me just report that this is actually very difficult to see with the naked eye, at least from where I am. Uh, of course, there's lots of light pollution nearby, lots of businesses and towns, and I'm in the middle of Connecticut. There is no darkness here. And of course, we have the power lines in the way. Here, let's see, how is two and a half seconds? Are we still getting light trails? Okay, you see the stars are a little bit sharper now. I'm still getting light trails, though. It looks like I, I really can't go past about two seconds. So let's do two seconds and then let's bump the ISO up maybe to 5,000. Let's see how this looks. 
Another thing I need to do before I proceed is I need to double check my focus. Of course, with night photography, there is no autofocus. You have to manually focus for this. All right, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then look at this. There's, there's the comet as it soars through our, our skies. So I'm going to show you how to double check your manual focus when you're, when you're at shooting at nighttime. So what I did is I zoom in on my screen, and I'm actually going to spin the focus ring here. You see now that's totally out of focus, but now we just need to make that star as sharp of a dot as we can get it. So of course, not there. Actually, let's zoom in one more. Right. Looks like right about there is as sharp as that's gonna get. I think I even need to go down to half a, or a, minute, a second and a half. Let's see how a second and a half looks. Looks like we're getting airplane passing through the tail of the comet. Oh yeah, we got some airplane streaks. Okay, there we go, one second, or one and a half seconds. Ah, the stars are all out of focus, shoot. This is just a constant battle of, there we go. And I'm in manual focus, I believe. Let's double check that. I am in manual focus. Okay, let's try one more shot here. We're about to lose the comet off the screen, so I'll have to recompose again. It's fascinating, you know, as it, as it moves across the sky. Yeah, there we go, let's see, is that? Yeah, look at that. We got the full tail of the comet with this beautiful power line in the way. It's fascinating when you use a lens like a 150 to 600, when you zoom in on your screen, you're actually able to see the rotation of the Earth happening in front of your eyes. Uh, you know, on a wide angle, you don't really get that. You know, you, you, it doesn't take, you know, it takes forever to witness it. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. You know, this is a very amazing moment and I hope if you're unable to witness this with your own eyes I hope that this video has helped helped you experience this more uh, this is a very cool thing to witness uh, the, you know this comet is not like the Milky Way this isn't this isn't something we're going to see ever again in our lifetime not this particular one at least so I hope you're able to uh, enjoy this moment with me here it is moving here's a power line and then there's the comet as it travels through our solar system. You know, I, I, I'm always intrigued by situations like this. Whenever some fascinating astronomical event is occurring, who all pays attention and who all doesn't really care? You know, here we have a comet on the screen right now happening live. This is a comet traveling through our solar system that's not coming back anytime soon. How many people are watching? How many people even know about it? You know, that's the, that's the moment. That's why I love these things. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think we're going to wrap it up here. I'm getting pretty cold and the comet is about to actually go low enough where we can't see it anymore. So this wasn't anything serious. It was just me out here filming it, you know, documenting this incredible experience. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the photos I put on the screen. Once again, nothing crazy, no foregrounds of, of anything insane, but it was just fun. I hope to see you guys in the next one and uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Take care and if you ever have the chance to experience such an amazing moment, I hope you take it. I'll see you in the next one. This is Waterfall Joe. Have a good night.